has tower. Before we go for Brickyard 3727, we might have hit some type of animal on the center line during our uh, roll. So I'm not sure if any of this is helpful uh, to you guys that uh, are going to attempt to build the high-performance super regenerative receiver for the aircraft band, but uh, let's collect some parts. And uh, you'll notice right off the bat I've got two sets of tubes. Uh, the first set is a 6-volt option, and this uses the 6BZ7, 6BQ7, VHF dual triode along with a 6AW8 triode pentode. So there's your 6 volt lineup. And over here is the 12 volt lineup. And uh, for 12 volts we're using the 12AT7 along with the 12BH is it 7? Yeah, 12BH7. That's a dual triode, but the triodes are pretty heavy duty, so essentially can do the same thing. Now the uh, the nice thing about the 12 volt option is you can probably run the whole thing on 24 volts. That might be interesting, but uh, I will start out with conventional uh, the conventional kind of 100 to 120 volt power supply that I've been using. That seems to be a modest voltage uh, to generate very simply with transformers. Uh, notice I'm showing a vernier dial. That's very helpful for VHF type circuits, but not necessary. You can just use a large knob with a pointer on it. And uh, uh, an array of parts laid out here for you guys to take a look at. <laughs> 